Hello, it's me again. And we're doing 31 straight days of learning a little bit about Pilates and doing, showing you a movement or two just to help you with the way you feel. And this week we're spe specifically talking about lateral thoracic breathing and we're gonna show you some great moves about sitting. Because sitting is the new smoking. Did you know that? So here we go. Yesterday we talked about lateral thoracic breathing and I just wanna to talk to you and remind you that this is a muscle focus that affects your respiration. But it's wonderful, wonderful. And what you wanna think about is a 360 degree movement of this diaphragm that's right underneath the rib cage. We'll talk about more of its connections tomorrow, but one thing I want to tell you today is one way to improve your inhale and one way to improve your exhale. So let's just talk about the inhale. So the inhale improvement can be done up against any structure, kind of like this wall. So what we want to do is really focus the back core. In other words, where the rib cage is in the back, underneath that rib cage is your diaphragm. And if we take the idea that that needs to open like an umbrella, we need to really reach for the wall, in other words. So you notice, I'm not sitting directly up against there, I'm getting my rib cage against that wall. So that when I do take an inhale through the nose, watch the expansion into the wall. Inhale, and exhale. Watch one more time. Any hard surface, I'm gonna reach for the wall with my rib cage. Inhale, and exhale. That's one way you can practice it daily. Make that rib cage move. Yes, it does move. As those little muscles that go all the way through your rib cage called the intercostals, that's what moves it. So let's talk about the exhale. Exhale with a straw. Do you know the straw? I want you to think of it this way. With this straw, we get to determine what our breath sounds like. So how one way to improve the exhale is out through the mouth and making that volume even. So I can do that with a straw. Now I want you to hear one of my breaths um, before I put my mouth on the straw. I inhale into the wall. I exhale. Now listen to this. Inhale into the wall. We want to try to avoid breath that sound like this. <sighs> we want an even volume. So think like a straw. Think about if each section of the straw is a piece of volume. And what's going in, the sound is the same as when the breath escapes fully. So it's the same volume. So we put those together. Remember, the way your abdominals move is of great import importance. And so, it's kind of like my core is heading softly, gently towards my spine. Now you can see this great little piece. This is a perfect, perfect opportunity um, this little ball that doesn't have the air in is a wonderful thing for anything near a desk. And I know a lot of you are sitting at desks. We've got a lot of teachers watching us. We've got um, at some attorneys watching us. We've got people, a Lyft driver watching us. We have some Uber drivers watching us. They're seated a lot. We're going to be talking about sitting because sitting is the new smoking. So I'm going to sit down here. This is just one particular chair. Chairs come in all sizes, all flavors, colors. Place my straw there and I'm going to sit down. A couple of helpful reminders about sitting is this. Always have 
foot connection to the earth. Even when you're sitting, Tomorrow, we'll get back to that too. But so you can see, because I'm short, some of my friends like Ginger, yeah, Kennedy, yeah, Amy Larson, yeah, all of you guys are short. I know how that is. So the way you sit's really important. That's why I provide structure. Now, even though I had to lift my feet, I can feel for the earth. I can make more muscle activity in this everyday movement of sitting. Another thing I can do with my big ball, put it right here to remind me to sit towards the front on my thighs. Two more pointers. Make sure your rib cage and your pelvis are in alignment. That is huge. And we don't think about this much, but when we sit, we have a tendency to cave in, right? Our shoulders go forward. Our back muscles are stretched here. Then we look forward and our back stretch uh, muscles are stretched in our cervical area too. But think about what that does to your mid back. That's why we are so stiff and sore in the mid back. And the next reminder is think about how you're placing your pelvis as you're sitting down. So here's my pelvis. Think like a bowl of soup. If I really dip my pelvis just slightly as if the bowl of soup is coming out this end of my pelvis, that's what we want. Most of us tuck our pelvis. Look what that does to my lower back. I'm really touching that ball. And then I get on my computer. So we need to lift and just provide a little bowl of soup that's kind of coming out the front. So let me show you the movements for you today. And these movements are glorious because, you know, we get sore in that mid back. I do these maybe three times a day if I know I'm sitting for four to seven hours. So that's almost like one an hour or one every 75 minutes. And I do them usually five times. And it's a combination of three movements. It's glorious because you can sit even in a little cubby area um, if your desk area is not big, this is great. So remember the elements of feet planted to the earth. And I'm just going to sit up. I'm going to make sure that my bowl of soup is going to be going forward, not too much. You want to find a neutral pelvis, not a tuck, not a lordosis arch. So just a little. And I create chicken wings. And it goes like this. Christian, if you want to watch my back too, really, I take a deep inhale and expand my bra line. Exhale. All I'm doing is bringing my chicken wings in, but I'm not moving my spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, out through the mouth, even volume. And one more inhale. And exhale. The next one is I open up my chicken wings. I inhale and I lift. I lift my heart to the sky. Now you don't see me doing this because I forget that my rib cage needs to be over my pelvis, right? So be aware of where your spine is in space. The second move. Inhale, lift my heart. Exhale, navel to spine. Coming back. Inhale, I'm lifting my heart, but my shoulders are pulling down here, my lats. Exhale. It's not a big movement. One more time. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, connect. And then I gotta put it all together. It's a glorious move. And I'm gonna add a little dip of my chin down to the chest, only because it feels so great. Because we wanna open up, but how often do we go down? We're just really working that upper thoracic and cervical area. So here it goes. I inhale, pause. I exhale. I'm going to do a chicken wing. Now watch my chin go down. 
I inhale, straighten back up to neutral. And exhale, work here. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do it. Inhale. Exhale. Chicken wings. Chin to the chest. Inhale. And you'll notice how I'm lifting up out of the pelvic bowl. Exhale, navel to spine. And inhale. That's when I'm going to lift my heart. Exhale, navel to spine to return. So it's a chicken wing, chin to the ceiling. I'm sorry, chin to the chest. Come back to neutral. Work here because that helps us to remember to lift up out of that pelvic bowl. So, you know what? It's a beautiful day in the Tetons. I hope that you're getting out. Think about how you can move at lunchtime. Think about, hey, let's walk to that restaurant two blocks away. Move, move, move. Keep moving. Talk to you soon.